Behind me is one of the very many antique stalls here in Peterborough. This is the very last, in fact, Peterborough Festival of Antiques. But I'm going to try a new kind of video for you. I'm going to take a walk around this stall and I'm going to show you half a dozen objects of interest that I think are really good value for money and just, yeah, very interesting. Proper antiques, of course. And then let me know which one you think is the best of the bunch. There's one item here that I think is very special. It is the one that I would take home. I'll reveal that at the end of the video. Let me know if you choose the same object that I do. Here we go. Right, come on then, let's have a look around. I'm gonna show you a few objects and let me know if you think, if I've missed anything. So I'm gonna to go to that clock first of all. So it's a long case clock, but it's a short one. So known as a grandmother clock. Now these things were only began to be made in the 20th century. So if you look at that style, the case style is Georgian, but if you look at the decoration, it's in oak with that twist decoration to the side, the lozenge in the middle. And of course the size being a grandmother clock, it is definitely 20th century, probably 1920s, not much later than 1930, something made before the beginning of the Second World War. So pre-1939, it's a eight day movement. It works and it's priced at 95 pounds. Would you have it at home? And is that the one I would take home? Right, second object, we're gonna to go to the Orient. We're going exotic. We're going to China. This here is a bamboo brush pot, an artist's brush pot. Yes, carved out of bamboo, decorated with mother of pearl. Lots of bits missing here and there, priced at, how much is that? 75. But I think you've got to be very forgiving, haven't you? Because it was made circa 1900, so it's 120 odd years old. There's the proof that it's actually bamboo. And of course, you probably know this, but the Chinese use bamboo in all sorts of things from brush pots to even medicine, to food, to bedding. To, it has multiple uses, bamboo, and it's very fast growing. That whole thing might have only taken a day or two to grow. Remarkable, isn't it? And very easy to carve. So priced at 75 pounds. Is that the object I take home? Let me know. Let's move over here. I'm gonna stay in the Far East. We're in China, we're in South China. This is a Cantonese family rose enamel painted teapot. Priced at 165 pounds. It's the last quarter of the 19th century, made for the export market. So not made for the Chinese market. So don't get excited that this thing is worth an absolute fortune, hundreds of thousands of pounds, because it isn't. But it's very good. It's a proper antique. They normally have a little bit of nibbling here and there. No character marks on the base. Now that's not a worry. In fact, very often it's easier to date Oriental, particularly Chinese pieces, without a character mark because when you find a character mark and you decipher it the first thing you do is disbelieve what it's telling you they were never made to con anybody just that often chinese pieces were marked with earlier rain marks as a sign of reverence to long lost but revered potter so there we have it priced at 165 cantonese chinese enamel teapot is that the one I'd take home? Final object. We're gonna come back to Britain. It's rosewood, it's mid 19th century. It's inlaid here. It is, if you open it up, you're probably thinking it's a writing box. It isn't. It is a lady's dressing table box traveling isn't that exquisite so little bottles for perfumes you've got uh, a little thimble there for repairs mother of pearl handled boot pole corkscrew much needed on your travels fully fitted inlaid loads of stuff going on here 
and this will lift out as well but i'm filming this one-handed so <laughs> can't do it but it is absolutely lovely this area will drop this area here will drop down so you can put all your love letters there all your secret correspondence so there we have it 1850 gorgeous thing priced at 245 is that the one i'd take home come on then have you made up your mind which of the items i've just shown you all proper genuine antiques would you take home with you here's my choice let me know if you agree three two one and yes for me personal choice it has to be this the late 19th century cantonese chinese famil rose hand painted teapot and the reason for that is this it's 165 pounds it's a proper antique the porcelain is exquisite quality and it's all hand painted in these wonderful vibrant colors that haven't muted at all over the years it's a piece of art if that was on a canvas it would be several hundreds of pounds why it's so cheap because it's on a teapot i don't know put it on a lovely georgian mahogany table and it will look a million dollars so that's the one i'd take home let me know which one would you have taken home